Hello everyone. I thought I would do a little bit of a different video. So I've got three cards from the Fairy Tarot deck, each one with a different stone. This first card is a Rose Quartz, then we have a Selenite, and then an Amethyst. Pick the card that sticks out to you, or maybe it's the stone that does. I'll give you just a few seconds and then I'm going to get right into your reading. If you have chosen the first card with the Rose Quartz, number two, the High Priestess. Trusting your intuition. Here, I'll put it down a little bit so you can see it better. Trusting your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, insights that come through meditation. I feel like this is really saying you need to focus on your your gut instincts at this time, whether you're dealing with a person, a situation at home or at work. I just feel like you need to listen to your intuition right now. Pay attention to your gut instincts. You're experiencing the feelings and the thoughts that you are for a reason, even if you don't understand it at that exact moment. It will make sense to you later on. I also feel like you're learning a lot right now with this open book. Um, so I wanted to say absorb all you can. And this could just be that you're learning life lessons. It doesn't necessarily mean that, oh, hey, you're going back to school. However, if you have been feeling like you want to go back to school or you want to be studying something, then this is like your, your confirmation, your validation to go and do just that. Overall, though, I feel like this message is saying you just need to rely on your intuition at all costs and being that the rose quartz was paired with it and now mind you i did not look at those three cards okay so i didn't know that like the rose quartz was going to be paired with this card right and then with the selenite and the amethyst um the rose quartz is all about love how are you speaking to yourself are you speaking and thinking loving thoughts i feel like you need to quiet your ego because your intuitive voice is loving. It's, it is it is just is, but it's also loving as well. And that's where you need to drop down into, drop down into that energy um, and really nurture yourself at this time. I feel like also with this rose quartz that it's saying there's a lot of heart healing happening for you at this time. All right, moving on to the second card here with the selenite 15 or ego the illusion of being trapped placing too much importance on material items getting caught up in fear and worry well i feel like that sort of piggybacks off of <laughs> first message <laughs> where i had said you want to listen more to your intuition versus your ego your ego is that loud voice i mean the ego is not a bad thing okay it is it's purposeful it's there to protect you however it needs to be tamed every now and again <laughs> it's where a lot of your fears and anxieties come from right and then when you start to have those like fear-based thoughts you get on that crazy train and it's very hard for you to get off of that I also look at this as you may be influenced by certain people in your life right now. And that's where you do, in fact, need to listen to your intuition. So if you couldn't decide between card one um, or card two, then, you know, definitely listen to both. These, these both are for you. Um, but I just look at this like you're being influenced right now by some people in your life, but definitely by your own ego, by your own thoughts. And that is what's keeping you trapped. It's keeping you stuck in this loop of restrictions and limitations. And if you think of it, fear, fear means false evidence appearing real. First word there is false. It's not real. And you may need to tell yourself over and over again that you're safe. And with the selenite here, selenite is the master clearing stone. This clears everything, clears the energy within you, clears the energy of like, you know, the, the space that you're in, clears other stones, like it, it's a master clearing stone. So try to clear those fear-based, anxiety-ridden thoughts 
from your mind and from your aura. They're not actually serving you. All right. I also look at this as um, if you need to, if you find you've just been, you know, just too much in that energy where you feel stuck and you just don't know what to do. I'm seeing in my mind rubbing salt in between your hands. That could help to clear some of your energy out. Get outside, ground yourself, because that will help to bring, you know, bring you back down into center and balance. Do what you can to clear. If you need to actually get to the beach and get to the salt water of the ocean, that's a great way to do that as well. Or if you want, grab some selenite. <laughs> Comes in many different shapes and sizes and work with the clearing energies of selenite. All right. And last one, if you have chosen a third card with amethyst. Ooh, two of summer. How lovely. Falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone. Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. Some of you has got someone new coming in. And I really do feel like they're, they're going to like sweep you off your feet. I, I'm getting like a lot of romance. Maturity intelligence. These are just some of the words that are flashing through my mind right now. And I do feel the word summer is um, significant. So this is probably happening anytime between now and the end of summer. I really just wouldn't be surprised if it's like just, you know, between now and the end of July. <clears throat> so the next, like within the next two months. If you were inquiring about someone already in your life, I'm getting there's an opportunity to deepen your connection. Focus on communication between the two of you, right? We all know communication is like one of the most important things in any relationship, never mind romantic. Um, but I am getting like you'll have more than one opportunity to really like choose your words carefully. All right, because I do feel like your words can make or break a connection. And we all know that, right? And with the amethyst here, amethyst is a very psychic spiritual stone. So I do feel like you and this person do have a psychic connection. This is a very deeply spiritual connection as well. Also very, very healing is what I'm getting with this as well. Focus on the spiritual connection that you guys have. It will help to strengthen your bond. I also feel like we're, this is a side note, I also feel like wearing purple is going to put you in this sort of, uh, how do I want to describe it, a regal authority type of status energy. So maybe incorporate the color purple into your wardrobe or into your life in some way, shape or form. All right, that's what I got for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed these messages. Take care.